Not gonna lie. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I got the, uh, I got the road tax and all that sorted out. Documents came back. She's electrified. See, picture here, electrified. But I'm just so goddamn nervous. Shouldn't be. This is straightforward. This is just what it does. This is what I've built it for. I don't know. In the back of my mind, I guess I'm doubting some of my capabilities. Something's gonna go wrong. Do you know, there's only one way to find out. While I'm doing it, put a tow rope in the boot. Oh, there's the feds after me. Okay. Brakes are still on their old school. Uh, working. But we're not going to go too far. They work. They just need extra, you know, pushy, pushy. Let's get my um, old man chair out of the way. That would, be, that would be a travesty if I kill that. Okay. Power up. for it. nice when you come to a stop I know the brakes aren't ideal but um, <clears throat> give it the wheel a bit of a, a spin and it sort of gives the brake boost a bit of an extra kick uh, are these guys gonna give me the wave or what you know, the only thing I wish that 
um, I didn't have was that the um, power steering line, but you know, I'd love to have it absolutely silent, and uh, maybe something I can work into it that it'll only run when it needs to be run when you're steering. But that said, it takes that long to, to spin up to get the steering. You don't want to be suddenly coming into a corner where the motor isn't spinning. Power steering motor isn't spinning. And you come into a corner, you, suddenly, you, just, you don't, don't have steering. But then again, when you're moving, it's easier to steer. It's only really when you're idle like this that you need it to be moving around. You know, so. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, we're away. Getting my car all muddy. It's trying to see, interesting to see what it's like over these bumps as well. Because the A6 is very kind of stiffly sprung. Sports suspension, what's this like over these? Gotta fit into this thing. C proper cup holder. Yeah, at least no worries. Okay, on. On. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Where are we gonna go?
ahead and plug her in and get her charging. And that's that. That was fantastic. That was um, epic. Really, really enjoyed that. Very surprised. Yeah, I was so anxious at a few points there though that something was going to go. I don't know because I'm still getting used to the whole um, the voltage pack of it dropping so rapidly. When I can see here, when it's probably nothing to worry about, but um, that's down at 360. It's down. It's, that's 360. So it's pretty much 30 percent thing there. I don't believe that. I can't believe it's gone from 80 down to 30 in that short a distance. Um, I think when I get the uh, the BMS connected up, that will give me back a really bang on um, sort of values from um, the battery pack overall. So for the moment, I'm taking this with a pinch of salt, but um, I do know when I charge it up that it brings it up to the, what have I got it coming up to? 391, which is 95%. And 95% uh, is, yeah, the cutoff. You don't want to charge it any more than that because it starts to degrade the battery. At the same time, you don't want to go below, driving it below 10%, which is 350, 350 volts. So uh, we're at 360 here, according to this. Uh, but uh, yeah, well happy with that. So more testing. I, I'm very gingerly driving out of junctions and all that, but uh, yeah, as I get more confident with it, more happy with it, I'll start to just give it a bit more beans and uh, see what it's like. But so far, did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? My driving around, watching me driving. If you didn't, well, you know, I'll try and get some more funky uh, camera angles. Give you a bit more ideas. Anyway, good first test.